what is going on guys welcome to a comparison video now, this is the first i think comparison video we've done on the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit the notification bell as well now guys we are on the blue yeti right now first test we're gonna do two different tests first test we're gonna do um on the blue yeti and on the hyper x quadcast just on the regular mount and just straight raw no editing on on the audio nothing just straight raw and i'm gonna show you guys that we have the blue yeti right here on its original um you know on, on its original stand and we have it set to um we have it set to uh i believe it's uh omni omnidirectional right now let me check 100 percent no we have it set to uh card cardio in mode which is when you know we're just talking straight to us and it's only picking up the audio coming straight forward to the uh to the microphone and both of these microphones have these pattern modes they have the cardioid stereo stereo mode i'm not omnidirectional which gets everything around it you know what i'm saying if you guys are in a circle it's going to get everything around from it talking the stereo mode it's um left and right side of the microphones and the bi-directional is when somebody's standing uh sitting here in front another person standing on the other side which is perfect for like broadcasts and stuff like that but um both of these have the same patterns they're very very similar you know the price of the blue yeti retail is 129.99 now you guys can go ahead and pick it up a little bit cheaper especially right now during black friday you guys can probably pick this thing up for 99.99 maybe 89.99 uh, quadcast HyperX retail, I believe, is one fifty nine ninety nine. But same thing goes for it. You guys can pick it up for cheaper right now. All the sales going on. Um, and like I said, we're gonna be doing two different tests. The first test here, guys, is just straight like this, just straight raw. I wanted to show you guys the 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 raw sound of just coming from the Blue Yeti. Now I've used this microphone my whole YouTube career, so the first time I'm switching over to the HyperX Quadcast, and I just me personally. I just like the sound a little bit better. The one thing I don't like about the Blue Yeti, and I've used it on, um, you know, its original stand. I've used it on on uh, mic arms. I've used I've used the uh, Blue Yeti uh, two different ways. And the one thing that always bothers me is just the sounds. It picks up a lot of sounds, no matter what pattern you have it on, what pattern mode you have it on. This Blue Yeti picks up a lot of sound going on, like you know what I'm saying in your house not even in just in the house like in the room where you're at like if you're tapping on the desk on accident it make, it picks it up and it makes it sound a little bit um louder and and it, and it, it depends on the gain you have it on as well but uh that's one of the things that i don't like about the blue yeti that's one of the you know the the cons on it the pro though the price is much cheaper and it, it's honestly one of the best mics that i've had that's around the price range of you know 130 or even 100 because you guys, you guys can go ahead and snag this from 100 i've seen this thing all the way to 80 bucks uh on when during during black friday sales but um you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I don't have any any complaints about it. It just picks up a lot of sound around. Even when I have my, like, say my air is going on and it's, like, going on very loud, it picks it up. And uh, that's one of the one, that's one of the reasons that I started looking a different way for a new mic because I, it just picks up too much sound in the background. And uh, I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, Blue Yeti, one of the greatest mics that I've had, the only mic that I've used uh, for my YouTube career so far, and I loved it so far. But, um... That's the sound for this one. We're gonna go ahead and put the Hyper X Quadcast in, and with the same thing we're doing with this, we're gonna do with the Hyper X, and then we're gonna show you guys the edited, both of the edited uh, clips for the both mics, and see what you guys think about it. See if you guys see the difference on it. Um, so let's go ahead and on the Hyper X. All right, guys. Now we are on the Hyper X uh, Quadcast. Now this uh, this microphone has the same functions as the blue yeti um what i really do like about it is just the style of it it looks 100 it looks way better um you guys can see man just with this with this red lighting right here i'm gonna show you guys real cool real quick that red lighting on this microphone makes it really really cool just you know cosmetics wise it looks real cool uh with that and then the tap feature that it has to mute where you just got to tap the top of the microphone and then it it, it um the light disappears the pop filter as well the built-in pop filter is a plus on this uh microphone now i haven't used it a lot so i don't know what the, the cons are as much but um as i start to use it i'm going to start noticing the stuff that i don't like about it now this one's a little bit more uh you know a little bit more softer but it makes it sound sound it makes the audio sound a little bit more crisp because it doesn't pick up like a big big like bass on it 
and um, it makes it sound way more crisp. Which what is I'm, I'm looking for is more professionalism. Real, you know, real nice, nice um, audio coming for the stream, for the videos, whatever the case is. And this is just the uh, the raw audio with it. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and show the the clips of it uh, with the edited and here in a second. So you know, the the this uh this microphone brings the same pattern modes: the the cardioid, the stereo mode, the uh, omnidirectional, and the, and the bidirectional mode as well. And the gain, it, uh, the, the gain, I love how the gain, you could just put it at the bottom. You guys could just flip it. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys check out my review videos so you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. But it's like a little volume thing that you could just spin around. On the Blue Yeti, you have to spin around the thing at the front, but it's a little hard. And um, I just don't like how it has the gain on there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the other thing as well, you know, you guys can use, I love the shock mount. The shock mount it brings is a, is a huge plus. Shock mount, it brings a built-in shock mount, so you guys don't even need to buy a shock mount for it, you know what I'm saying? Because for the Blue Yeti, you guys got to get a separate shock mount, and you guys can just um, go ahead and put this on a mic arm. Now, both of these microphones do go on a mic arm. They could go on a mic arm. They, uh, the HyperX brings an adapter to it. The Blue Yeti doesn't bring an adapter, but it has at the bottom where you can just, you know, twist it onto a uh, mic arm. You just got about a specific one for it because uh, it's a little different. Then the HyperX, which already means the adapter. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, both microphones are really, really good. Very, uh, very, you know, very good to stream with, especially if you guys are beginners and are just trying to stream for the first time or whatever the case is. These are both awesome, awesome mics. But if you guys are looking for a budget, I would recommend picking up the Blue Yeti um, during on sale because like I said, I've seen that thing all the way to $80. Uh, the HyperX, I haven't seen it that low. But you never know, you know, Black Friday deals are around the corner. So, guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys the edited clips. We're going to go ahead and hop into the edited clips. I'm going to record audio from both of these microphones. I'm going to edit it, and then I'm going to uh, show you guys what these, these two microphones sound with uh, edited in Audacity. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys. So, we are back on the Blue Yeti. Now, this is the edited um you know in the software of audacity this is the edited sound of how you guys can make the blue yeti sound and um honestly you know once you guys edit it and all that stuff it, it sounds very very crisp like me that's why I, like i said i love the blue yeti i've used it my whole youtube career and if you guys want a low budget um microphone blue yeti is one of the one of the best uh microphones that i could recommend also the blue snowball if you guys are really really in the budget and you guys want to go ahead and drop 50 50 uh dollars pick that up man uh you know download audacity download different software that you guys like that uh edits microphone sound and just go ahead and uh search up videos on youtube how to make that sound way better because you guys could get this these microphones to sound very 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 crisp now um like i said uh blue yeti uh, very very good I've used my whole YouTube career and I, you know you guys can hear yourself let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section which microphone do you guys think uh, sounds better and I'm trying to be very very fair uh, you know what I'm saying I'm trying to be very fair with, with the video I have these uh, set to the same gain I have these microphones set to the, the same uh, just settings and um, I edited these clips the same exact way I didn't change anything else so I'm trying to be as fair as possible just so we can hear the difference in these microphones how they really sound now we're gonna go ahead and hop into the HyperX right now and see how that sounds with the edited clips so uh, let's go ahead and hop into that all right so we are on the HyperX quadcast now guys what I've noticed about this microphone already is just that the background noise um, the Blue Yeti, you you guys can't hear it as much because it's very very minimal. But when you guys have these uh these microphones in the software, it shows you the lines of uh, the audio and stuff. And I could just see by that the software I'm using that the uh, Blue Yeti was picking up more noise from the background than the HyperX Quadcast. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was looking for. That's the reason that I went with this microphone was because I wanted less sound from the background picked up because um the Blue Yeti was just picking up too much background noise. And uh, that's that's exactly what I was looking to eliminate, and that's why I'm moving over to the HyperX Quadcast. Now I do want your opinion down below in the comment section. What you guys think? Um, if the uh, which audio sound better? Do you guys like the Blue Yeti better, or do you guys like the HyperX Quad sound better? Let me know down below in the comment section because I really do want to know. Um, you know what I'm saying? I do want to know 
what what you guys think you know what i'm saying what you guys think about the audio because both of these sound really really good i love both of these microphones the blue yeti you know that's been that's been my baby forever for this youtube career but we're going over and switching over to the HyperX and try this out and um see how the audio sounds now if i don't like the audio or if i don't think it's much of a change i'll probably go back to the blue yeti but for right now i want to try the hyperx uh quadcast and just see how it changes my videos and stuff like that going forward but um i do want to make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that like button and the notification bell as well that'll be much appreciated man uh you know that's gonna be it for this one god bless and i'll catch you guys in the next one god bless appreciate it god bless